Well, it is a you know it is a real place of learning. There's no doubt, and to it'd be nice, wouldn't it, just to sit in a college, university, just to read up on your topic, uh, and then lecture it to a group of young people. There's a vibrancy because there's a new group that come in every year. The freshers have just gone in and out. The city starts to settle down a little bit again now. Um, and there's a real buzz. There's that youth and exuberance around. So um, yeah, I, I mean, I enjoy the history. I enjoy living here. It's a really nice place to live. Uh, Port Meadow, just down the road, you have that country feel. You're in the city, but you're right next to the country. The train station now, I've never seem to be away from the train station or up and down to Manchester or to London. So I'm well connected here. But from a footballing point of view, uh, you are, I think, away from that sort of hotbed. Um, you know, certainly playing for a North London club. Uh, it helped me um, during the, during, to be away from it, the pressure. Of course, I lived away from Oxford when I played for Villa and for Everton, and initially when I went into, into London. So I have an experience of living elsewhere, uh, but I prefer to live here. Well, we won, we won the league, which was the first time I'm told they'd done that, but we didn't win the Varsity game, which is what you were remembered for. So, but we gave it everything we could. Um, and I hopefully the Goys learn a great deal from it. I certainly did. I've bumped into a few of them in, in London, a few of them working in the city, all, all gone into very good, high-powered jobs. Um, but, you know, for me, it was, I thought it was going to be a stepping stone to perhaps go into football management or go into coaching. But I'm afraid I got a little bit too comfortable living in this beautiful city.